have you been looking for a way to turn your image into motion animation and all that in CapCut? So today I'll be showing you how to animate your image, like you download image online or any place and you want to animate it, make it to have some motion effect on it using CapCut. That's what I'll be showing you how to do that. And if today is your first time of visiting my channel, visualizer.com, please do it to hit the subscription button down below. And the bell notification button is close to get notified that I post an awesome video like this. And do it to watch the video to the end so that you don't miss out on any of the things that I said on the during the duration of this uh, training. Then also let me know in the comment section the video that you would like me to make next. And also like share this video with your friends for other people that are looking for a way to turn their images into animation and video and all that on CapCut. So you can actually do this feature on either CapCut mobile, CapCut uh, desktop or even on the web version of CapCut. So but I'll be using a web version of CapCut to do show you how to do that. So if you don't have this particular web version, you can go to capcode.com, sign up with them and register an account and just that. So what I need to do is just to, let me create a new design. I'll click on create a new design. Once I'm done creating a new design, I will just upload in any image on my timeline. So I'll first of all choose a ratio like my image size. Let's assume that I'm doing it for mobile. Mobile is 9 by 16. If I'm doing it for desktop, I would go with 16 by 9 any of the depending on the kind of thing that you are doing so that will determine the the aspect ratio that you are going to choose so let me leave it for let me use it for desktop so i'm using 16 by 9 so let me upload let me use uh, this image so this is actually an image so if i want to animate this as you can see we have the duration of this particular video is let's say it's five seconds that's five seconds. So if I play this now, this is the duration. So if I want to, I, I, as you can see, there's nothing happening here. Nothing is actually happening. So if I want to animate this, so what I can do is that I, I will add a keyframe. Let's say I want to start the anim animation at, let's say at 10 seconds. At 10 seconds, I will let my keyframe start by 10 seconds. So I'll go and click on this, then click on basic, then I'll go to go to uh, position. Let's say I want to add a keyframe for position. Maybe if I want to add a keyframe for position, I'll add a keyframe for scale. I'll add a keyframe for let me add rotation. Then any other place I want to add a keyframe. I'll if you want to like make it to uh, op opacity of this to increase or decrease any any motion I want to add there you just add a keyframe there if, if it's only want to make it to move like make it to move that means you need to only add a keyframe for position you want it to move either left or right then add a keyframe for only position if you want it to only rotate maybe you want to rotate the image then add only rotate keyframe so as I, I once you add a keyframe, you see a dot, you see a, a a square dot there. That's the keyframe. Then you move your pointer, move it to to where you want the keyframe to end, like where you want it to end. Let's assume I want it to end before let's say four twenty is okay. So what I need to do, then I'll go to my image. If I want it to move, I will move it. Let's say I'll move this, I'll move it like this. I'll move it like this. Maybe if I want to zoom it, I want to zoom it. So I'll also increase it. I'll increase it like this. So if even, even if I still want to rotate it, you can rotate it. So anything that you do here, we see that there's another keyframe here. Anything that you do, it automatically adds another keyframe there. So let me go and play this and you see what you have done so far. So, as you can see, this is what the image I've turned to. It's I've actually turned to in, uh, a video, this particular image now. So, depending on the kind of thing that you want to do, you can either move it, rotate it, change the opacity. Okay, let's. Okay, let me go back to that particular keyframe. Let me go back to that particular keyframe. Then I can change the opacity or even uh, rotate it. Let me change the opacity to this hundred percent. Let me reduce it to. 
So, so let's see what is happening here now. Let, so let me play this particular music. As you can see, the, the, the opacity is decreasing. So this is how to add, like, to convert your image to video or, or animate your video or animate your image to video using CapCut. And if you find this particular video useful, please do it to share it with your friends. Like, let me know in the comment section the question you have regarding this particular video and the video you would like me to make next. So thanks for watching this video.